Welcome once again. And now moving next to, of course, our conversation on the Eastern Rail Line. The question, of course, uh, Nigerians are asking and of course, uh, that we're bringing up this morning is why the narrow gauge for the Port Harcourt may degree link and, of course, uh, the standard gauge for other rail lines across the country. Uh, we're going to be speaking this morning with uh, engineer or Golo, uh, of course, uh, who's joining us to quickly share his thoughts on, you know, this conversation. Engineer Fine Chima Ogolo is a representative of Nigerian Institute of Civil Engineers. Good morning. Thanks for joining, uh, joining us, sir. Thank you very much. Good, Good morning. morning to you. All right. So now let's, you know, start morning, with, man. you know, asking uh, about the difference between the actual difference between the standard uh, gauge line and, and the narrow gauge and why this is a problem for the Eastern Corridor. Thank you very much. The railway system was inherited from the British colonialists. And uh, the thing started uh, early 1900s. All right, can you? As we know it in Nigeria, there are various narrow gauges. The narrow gauge, as we know it in Nigeria, is from the inner side of one rail to the other, is 1.067 meters, 1,067 millimeters. That is narrow gauge. It used to be three feet, six inches. That was what the British built for us and built for all their colonies. And we had two lines. The western line, starting from Lagos, going all the way to Kaduna, to Nguru in present day Yobe State, with connections to Kanu, and so on. And we have the Eastern Line from Potako to Medugri, passing through Aba, Omoahia, Enugu, Makode. And uh, there was a connection, or there's a connection between the two lines, from Kaduna on the Western Line to Kafanchan, present day Kaduna State, on the Eastern Line. That is what we inherited in 1960. And that was what we had when the Civil War broke out in early 1967. But since then, since after the war, there were disruptions and abandonment, vandalization of the lines, and so on, until Obasanjo's uh, administration they started the rehabilitation of the lines. Initially, a contract was awarded to rehabilitate the two lines, the western line and the eastern line. Initially, they were to be rehabilitated as narrow gauge. But then, the very sharp curves were to be straightened. Very high gradients and coming down were to be straightened so that the speeds would improve. Our engineer, that was the initial idea. Now you've mentioned speed. I think we probably should just get you know further into it. I I really want to us to understand better um, why it is a problem and why the of okay. Course, uh, so that was, was the what we inherited. Yes. But now since then, since then we have had standard gauge throughout since this government came into power, and even before then, we have the Abuja Kaduna line standard gauge. We have the Lagos Ebado line, standard gauge. We have just awarded the Ebado uh, Kanu line, standard gauge. We, since uh, 1987, we've been building the Ajokuta Itabe, uh, Itabe Ajokuta Wari line, and it was completed by this uh, government, standard gauge. There is promise to extend to Warriport and to extend it to Abuja, standard gauge. A new, brand new line was awarded from Kanu to Daura to Maradi, Niger Republic, standard gauge. 
So what we have on the ground is everything in Nigeria now is standard game. Okay. But they, 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 As I said, the Western line has, is already standard gauge, and then any new construction is standard gauge. But when it came to the Eastern line, we went back to the old argument, oh, money, because standard gauge implies you have to straighten the sharp curves. Yeah, so, so you, you don't... You have to straighten the gradients and so on to accommodate more high speeds. And you know, Golo, so you don't agree with the... So you don't agree with the government's narrative that it is you know, going to be more cost-effective uh, to do a narrow gauge. No, and of course it, what I'm saying, the same could... argument that was put for Eastern Gauge was put for Western Gauge. But it was now thrown away and everything is standard gauge there. When you come to the Eastern part, you now bring back all money, this, this, and that. You cannot borrow money, foreign loan, to start doing things that you know will not last, will be thrown away. That's what we are saying. Compatibility is the first ch challenge there. Nigeria as a whole has the challenge of single track everywhere. So if you are in one station, you have to wait for another train to pass from the opposite direction before even you continue your journey. We are saying as engineers, we don't waste money again. By coming to east, you now say uh, eastern gauge is, uh, should be narrow gauge. When you want to transfer from Kaduna, from Kaduna to Kafanchan, you start offloading from the wagons that are a standard gauge, you start putting into the wagons that are narrow gauge. Okay. It is a completely un uneconomical waste of funds and so on, and will lead to confusion. Engineer this Wallow. is why we are saying that everything should be standard gauge from now on okay. for better management to save costs and to do everything. Okay. Number two is, number two reason why we should go standard gauge throughout. Number two reason why we should go standard gauge throughout is many countries are phasing out the narrow gauge. Many countries... The only place you can see narrow gauge being used here and there is South Africa. We don't produce these things ourselves yet. So in South Africa, you go and line up and book your order, and you wait. The cost, uh, the cost is more because you are waiting. The cost is more, and the special order. Okay, engineer uh, Golo. From Japan, you can get. Engineer but Golo. You can't see, I, I want us to Japan because they are adjustable rails. Okay. And so on. Okay, engineer Golo. The third for reason people, is the, for um. Apologies to Button, but for people who don't actually understand what we're talking about, they're hearing standard gauge and narrow gauge, I want you to actually break this down and tell us what are the advantages of using narrow gauge uh, railway and uh, f standard gauge. Because I've, I've read articles that said it's better to use narrow gauge for you know, areas that are hilly. And they say that that's more compatible with the Eastern region. So what are the supposed advantages of using the uh, narrow gauge and the disadvantages as well? Yes, the argument that the Eastern side is hilly is very faulty. The whole Nigeria, you have hilly area, terrain, you have a distance, and you have everything. So every side is the same thing. The argument before was on funding, because for, for standard gauge, you threaten in order to accommodate higher speeds. The curves cannot be too sharp. What we have on the ground now, the curves are very sharp in some areas. There was a job to threaten them, but it wasn't done well. So the present uh, uh, speed can be as low as 50 kilometers per hour to 100 kilometers per hour range. So to do the higher speeds of 150 to 250 kilometers per hour, you go to standard gauge. And as I said, the whole Western Nigeria has gone to standard gauge towards the north. The other that we are is just like Taiwo. You buy new dress for Taiwo. Then when you come to Kenya, they you say, Kenya, they use your old dress. It will not work. Yeah, but, but so that is the first point. Yeah. The, 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 the first point is the money... Uh, Part of it cannot be an argument. Why is that? There is sir? nothing like hilly side on the east and western side. The whole of Nigeria is the same thing. Now that we've gone to uh, standard gauge on the on the west, we must do it again in the east for compatibility. Okay. Also, to join from one lane to the other, from Kaduna to Kafanga, for example, you need to start up offloading what you have to put on the tracks. 
because the rails, the wheels are made to agree with the rails. Do you As agree, I said, do you the agree with narrow the... gauge is, uh, is uh, 1.067 meters, while yeah. the standard gauge is 1.435 meters gauge. So the two uh, coaches can never work. You yes. have to offload let, from one to the other if you are joining. Yeah, and it's so one thing I was going to bring up, you know, uh, you know, a lot later if we had the time for it. You know, if, if we can connect the standard and the narrow gauge, but that, from what you're saying, it's not uh, possible. Um, but I want you to quickly respond to the minister, Rotimi Amechi, who says that, you know, it's best that we do this now because of the funds that are available, and then we can, you know, later in the future, you know, get, um, you know, a standard gauge running. It says uh, because of the time frame also that we have to ensure that these things, you know, immediately start running, then let's make do with this first. That's what it sounds like. Um, so do, would you, you know, allow... No, 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 you don't do that. You don't do that. I'm sorry. You don't do that because we are borrowing foreign loan. The repayment is even from oil and gas mainly, gotten from this area that must suffer the narrow gauge, continue with the sharp bends and so on. The oil and gas for repaying these loans are from these areas. So that argument does not hold water. As I said, new awards have been on standard gauge. The former narrow gauge on the left had been awarded a standard gauge. So uh, pleading money is no distance. But still, you can take it in stages. You can do what I call Enugu, for example, Enugu, Makodi, and so on. You go in stages as you have money available. But you do not borrow take foreign loan to do something now. Then 30 years' time, when you are still struggling to repay the loan, you say you want to change to standard gauge again. It will not work. For they say there are some other parts that will be standard gauge. And the arrangement for this uh, line is to extend it to Owere, to extend it to Abakliki, to extend it to some other areas, Kalapa, and so on. Then you extend it to Boniport. You are extending the narrow gauge to all these areas. Meanwhile, the western gauge, the western line, is all standard gauge. So the people on the eastern gauge will feel discrimination against them. In fact, the, they are talking of the eastern gauge carrying mainly low gauge. So the one of using it for transportation will not apply. They will not even bother. Okay. Yet, the western side is already enjoying from uh, Lagos to, to, uh, to Lagos to Ebado. It's already on standard gauge. Okay, Engineer Ogolo. And we have already Engineer Ogolo. to Kaduna standard gauge. Engineer Ogolo, we understand the grievances of the Nigerian Institution of uh, Civil Engineers. They're saying, you know, for interconnectivity purposes, it's better to use a standard gauge rather than a narrow gauge. But this is what the federal government has decided. So on your part, is the Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers going to do anything, maybe write petitions to the government for them to change their mind and change the plan so that we have uniformity, uniformity of the rail, railway lines in the country? We believe the federal government was not well advised. So as engineers, we feel we should advise them better. You do not take a foreign loan to build something that is virtually being abandoned everywhere else. Then our children and grandchildren will be paying foreign loan for what we know is not standard enough. I'm saying, is there any fact, official... There is there any official... Is there any official communication with the engineers to the government so that this can be done properly, uh, you know, according to, according to you? Engineer Ogolo. Well, for Patako Branch, Nigerian Society of Engineers, we've released a statement uh, stating exactly our views on this and to save money. We've also, Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, Patako Chapter, we've also released a statement stating the views and advising government that it will be penny wise, pound foolish to go on a narrow gauge with a foreign loan now. Okay. All right, and, and you know, go and on. in 20 years' time or so, you think you will uh, start building standard gauge. Do the correct thing now. And so you know, that the uh, frustration and people like this side will feel that you're marginalizing them. Okay. It is not uh, worth it. Absolutely. Politically, you build something for people to appreciate. The people right. will not appreciate it. They will think you are marginalizing them. Okay. All right. The worst of all is that the money for paying thank back you, thank you is very on much. this side, which you are saying that you manage. They and, should manage narrow gauge. Engineer Chima Ogolo, thank you very much. We would have to end it here. 
You would have to we'll have to end the conversation here. Um, th this is definitely going to be a you know a conversation that would last for a while, and so we'll definitely be inviting you again to share your thoughts. You know, when there's feedback from the Nigerian government or from the minister uh, on you know in response to the Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Absolutely. Uh, the conversation, you know, of course, uh, continues here on The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. We're now going to be speaking next with uh, Presidential uh, Senior Special Assistant in Public Affairs, Ajuri Ngalali. Um, also, uh, on the Eastern Corridor and the rail lines, the conversation between a narrow gauge and a standard gauge, um, you know, what exactly are the challenges? And, of course, so what does the government really intend to achieve with a uh, narrow gauge? And that comes up right next. Shh.